Alright guys, welcome back to the second part of the Missile Tutorial by Pixel for Life. And today guys, we are going to go ahead and uh, keep working on this a little bit. And the next thing that I want to do actually is go ahead and click on this emitter here and simply copy and paste it so that there is a second one. Now, I want to go ahead and go back to my original frame and I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here. So, and, whoa. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and just put fit here. Go ahead and go back to our four views. And in this very first uh, keyframe here, I want to go ahead and move this to the other side. As you can see here, I got the two of them. Then I'm going to go to that last keyframe. And I simply want to move this the other direction. So I want it to go like that. And then... Just click on this one keyframe here. And move this back over this way. You can see there, this one here needs to go about like this because they need to hit in roughly the same area. And we'll make this one curve. Down from above, kind of like that. And actually... Let's go ahead and just, let's just make this go like this. I like the way this looks. Alright, so we'll then go back to the single view once more. And you can see here that uh, we can now line these up so that they hit uh, the same building roughly in the same area. Like that. And that way that one comes in on the screen first, and then it quickly comes in with the second one, and that looks pretty good. Alright, so, after doing that, we're going to go ahead and load in another image here. I have this blue flare, which I will actually be including for you all. I'm then going to go ahead and just drop this down onto here, and you can see here if I zoom in on it, that it has a little bit of a feather on the edge, but it needs to have a little bit more. So we're actually going to double click this. And then we're going to go ahead and use our ellipse tool and simply drag out a little bit of a selection. We'll then center that up about like that. We'll then go back out of this by clicking out of that. Get out of the footage one. You can see it there. On our mask here, we can now go in here and change the feather of this so that uh, it simply just looks like a, a straight straight up point for us that's all we want and you can change the mode to lighter I kinda like that a little bit anyway and now we're gonna go ahead and deselect that okay now we're gonna go ahead and create a duplicate of particular and this one here we're going to get out of that we're gonna go back to our effects the emitter we're gonna change from lights to layer and I'm going to go down to particles, change this to sprite. Actually, I don't know why. This is supposed to be lights as well. If it's not lights, it won't follow the path. So change it to sprite. And then on texture, we're going to go ahead and select the layer blue flare. And you can see here, this is now creating a bunch of little blue flares like all over the place on here, which is not what we want, but that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and put this here down to 2. You can see here that's basically getting created there. Our velocity, we're going to put that to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. All right? And 0. We don't want them to have a life either. From there, we're going to go ahead and up the size. And we may actually need to go ahead and just throw a couple of more particles into this. And let's see here. All right. All right, 
So put it at like 0.5. Or, yeah, we'll just go 0 0.10. That's fine. 0.1 works. And life random. Get rid of that. The size. Capacity. We'll go ahead and just put that all the way up for now. And this is one way to do it to where we have the um, area that we're looking for. But actually, I'm thinking we should try something a little bit different. I'm thinking we should try glow sphere. And with that glow sphere, we can go ahead and see how we can up that there to where it's kind of glowing. And then we can change the color of that to the bright like tealish blue that we want which is kind of like that and so let's see let's see what that looks like alright so the size needs to go down some we need to adjust the size here and we need to adjust the life of that that's right life random a little bit extra, a little velocity there. Just so it's kind of, uh, you know, looks kind of like the outside edges of a flare. We'll then duplicate that. And this one we're actually going to be, we're going to change the size down to like 30. Probably even smaller than that in the end. Make that white. Yeah, we're going to need to make that smaller. So... Kind of like that. Alright, so those flares are there. Let's go ahead and click back on this particular here, which is our blue. Let's change that size down to like... Mm, 30 is a little small. We'll, we'll up that a little bit. Then I want to take that, take that opacity down some. All right, so over life, I actually want to change the color over life to this bluish gradient here. And I'm actually just going to make that be like so. Because I, I want it to just kind of change and flicker color a little bit as time. See how there it's changing the color? And that's definitely what I want. So then we'll go back to the main one. Velocity random. Alright, so if we take this particular on the bottom, we put it below it, you can see there that uh, the flare doesn't really look quite like we want. So let's go ahead and switch these and we'll put this to like overlay. And let's try, let's actually try some other ones. Let's try add. I don't know, that one's a little bright. What about uh, screen? Yeah, screen looks pretty good. And you can see here, we now have these, uh, and they look, uh, in fast motion, they'll look like um, missiles that are attached. And we could sit here and play with these and make them even better, but you know what? I kind of like the looks of those for now. And that's kind of an easier way to make flares built into the program instead of having to buy a optical flare plugin like most people use so with that guys i hope you enjoyed this uh video tutorial lesson this is your boy um uh your boy this is the pixel for life uh dot com video tutorials and i hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to check us out on facebook twitter google plus and of course on our website pixelforlife.com as well as our youtube channel youtube.com forward slash pfl tuts we will see you all in the next lessons to come. Hope you guys enjoyed this short two-part series.